Yo, what's up everyone? And welcome back to the channel. Today specifically we're talking about Wi-Fi hacking tools. We'll be looking at 5 lesser known but incredibly powerful tools that you might not have heard of before. Now, full disclaimer, this video is purely for educational purposes. Messing around with someone else's network without permission is a big no-no, and we don't condone that kind of behavior here. So if you're ready to explore the fascinating world of Wi-Fi hacking and learn how these tools are used to make our networks more secure, then buckle up, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. All right, first up, we've got Wi-Fi Pumpkin. This tool is all about creating rogue access points, and let me tell you, it's a real game changer. Imagine this, you're at a coffee shop, connect to their Wi-Fi, and bam, you're actually on a fake network set up by someone using Wi-Fi Pumpkin. It's like a wolf in sheep's clothing, tricking unsuspecting users into connecting to a potentially malicious network. Now, Wi-Fi Pumpkin isn't just some simple tool, it's a full-blown framework built on Python. That means it's super versatile and customizable, allowing ethical hackers to create incredibly convincing fake networks. We're talking about mimicking real SSIDs, spoofing login pages, the works. But why is this important? Well, Wi-Fi Pumpkin allows security researchers and ethical hackers to test the security of legitimate networks. By simulating these real-world attack scenarios, they can identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses in a controlled environment. It's like running a security audit on your Wi-Fi network, but instead of just scanning for open ports, you're simulating an actual attack to see how your defenses hold up. And the best part? Wi-Fi Pumpkin is open source, meaning it's completely free to use and modify. This makes it an incredibly valuable tool for anyone looking to learn more about Wi-Fi security or test the strength of their own networks. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility, so use it ethically and responsibly. Imagine being able to test your own home network for vulnerabilities before someone with malicious intent can exploit them. That's the power of Wi-Fi Pumpkin. By learning how these tools work, you gain a deeper understanding of the cybersecurity landscape and can better protect yourself and your data. So, whether you're a seasoned security professional or just starting out in the world of cybersecurity, Wi-Fi Pumpkin is definitely a tool worth checking out. Next up, we're diving into the world of Termux with Fluxer. Now, for those unfamiliar, Termux is like having a complete Linux environment right on your Android device. It's incredibly powerful and opens up a whole new world of possibilities for mobile hacking and security testing. And Fluxer? Well, it's like the master key for cracking WPA slash WPA2 passwords within this Termux environment. Think about it, you're on the go, maybe at a conference or just hanging out at a cafe, and you need to test the security of a nearby Wi-Fi network. You whip out your trusty Android phone, fire up Termux, and boom, you've got Fluxer at your fingertips, ready to analyze and potentially crack those passwords. Now I know what you're thinking. Cracking Wi-Fi passwords isn't that illegal and you're absolutely right. Using Fluxer or any hacking tool to access networks without permission is a big no-no. But here's the thing. Fluxer isn't just some malicious hacking tool. It's a powerful tool for security researchers and ethical hackers. By understanding how Fluxer works, these professionals can identify vulnerabilities in WPA slash WPA2 implementations and develop stronger security measures. It's like stress testing a bridge. You need to push it to its limits to understand its true strength and identify any potential weaknesses. Fluxer allows security researchers to do just that with Wi-Fi networks. By understanding how these attacks work, security professionals can develop stronger encryption methods, implement more secure authentication protocols, and ultimately create a safer online experience for everyone. So, if you're interested in the nitty-gritty of Wi-Fi security and want to explore the capabilities of Termux, Fluxer is definitely worth checking out. Just remember, with great power comes great responsibility, so use it ethically and responsibly. Alright, let's talk about those situations where you can't get a full handshake capture. It's like trying to solve a puzzle with missing pieces, right? That's where WPA2 half handshake crack comes in. This tool is specifically designed to work with partial handshake scenarios, making it a lifesaver for security researchers and ethical hackers. Imagine this, you're testing the security of a network, but capturing a full handshake is proving to be a challenge. Maybe the network is configured in a way that makes it difficult, or you're dealing with a particularly elusive target. Whatever the reason, WPA2 half handshake crack steps in to save the day. Now, cracking WPA2 passwords typically relies on capturing a full four-way handshake between a client device and the access point. 
This handshake contains the necessary information for tools like Aircrack Aang to work their magic. But what happens when you can only capture a partial handshake? That's where WPA 2 Half Handshake Crack shines. It utilizes advanced techniques to analyze and extract valuable information, even from incomplete handshake captures. By leveraging these techniques, WPA 2 Half Handshake Crack can potentially crack WPA2 passwords even when a full handshake capture is impossible. This makes it an incredibly valuable tool for penetration testers allowing them to assess the security of networks that would otherwise be out of reach. By highlighting the vulnerabilities of partial handshake scenarios, WPA2 Half Handshake Crack encourages the development of stronger authentication protocols and encryption methods. WPA2 Half Handshake Crack plays a crucial role in this process, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in Wi-Fi security testing. So, if you're serious about network security and want to explore the fascinating world of handshake cracking, WPA2 Half Handshake Crack is definitely a tool worth adding to your arsenal. Let's talk about being stealthy. Sometimes you need to test a network without setting off any alarms, right? It's like being a digital ghost, moving through the network unseen and unheard. That's where Wi-Fi Ski comes in. This tool is all about stealthy penetration testing, allowing security professionals to assess network vulnerabilities without drawing attention to themselves. Think of it like this. You're a security consultant hired to test the defenses of a high security facility. You wouldn't just barge in through the front door, right? You'd want to find a way to slip past the cameras, bypass the guards, and move through the shadows undetected. That's the kind of approach Wi-Fisky takes to network penetration testing. It's designed to be as discreet as possible, minimizing its footprint and avoiding detection by intrusion detection systems. It's like having a cloaking device for your network traffic, making it incredibly difficult for anyone to notice your presence. But Wi-Fi Ski isn't just about hiding, it's about gathering valuable information about a network's security posture. While remaining undetected, Wi-Fisky can perform a wide range of tasks, including network mapping, identifying connected devices, access points, and network topology, vulnerability scanning, probing for known weaknesses and security misconfigurations, packet sniffing, capturing and analyzing network traffic to identify sensitive information. So, if you're serious about cybersecurity and want to take a proactive approach to protecting your network, Wi-Fi Ski is definitely a tool worth considering. All right, let's talk about WPS, or Wi-Fi Protected Setup. It was designed to make connecting to Wi-Fi networks easier, but it also introduced some security vulnerabilities. And that's where Pixie WPS underscore WPS Shack Python comes in. This Python-based tool is specifically designed to identify and exploit weaknesses in WPS implementations, making it an essential tool for security researchers and ethical hackers. Think of it like this. WPS was supposed to be a shortcut for connecting to Wi-Fi networks, but it ended up being a shortcut for attackers as well. It's like leaving a side door unlocked, convenient for you, but also an open invitation for anyone with bad intentions. PixieWPS underscore WPShack Python helps security professionals identify and exploit these WPS vulnerabilities, allowing them to assess the security of networks that rely on this flawed protocol. It's like having a master locksmith on your team, capable of picking even the most complex digital locks. Now you might be wondering why anyone would still use WPS with all its known vulnerabilities. Well, the truth is WPS is still surprisingly common. Many routers come with WPS enabled by default, and many users are unaware of the risks or simply don't bother to disable it. This is where Pixie Dupies underscore WP Shack Python plays a crucial role in raising awareness about the importance of secure Wi-Fi configurations. By demonstrating the ease with which WPS can be exploited, this tool serves as a wake-up call for both users and manufacturers to take Wi-Fi security seriously. By understanding how PixIPs underscore WP Shack Python works, security researchers can develop more robust WPS implementations and encourage manufacturers to prioritize security in their products. So, if you're passionate about cybersecurity and want to learn more about the intricacies of Wi-Fi security testing, PixIPs underscore WPS Shack Python is definitely worth checking out. And that's a wrap on our deep dive into the world of obscure Wi-Fi hacking tools. Covered some powerful tools today, each with its own unique capabilities and applications in the world of cybersecurity. Remember, these tools are incredibly powerful and should only be used for ethical hacking and security testing purposes. 
If you're interested in learning more about cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or any of the tools we discussed today, be sure to check out the links in the description below. We've got a ton of resources to help you get started on your journey to becoming a cybersecurity pro. As always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos exploring the fascinating world of tech and cybersecurity.